Hey guys, before we get started with our video, I just wanted to wish Carmel a happy sixth birthday. So today he turned six. Uh, five years ago, he was adopted from McKamey Animal Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And um, I'm just so pumped that he's been around for six years and I'm hoping that we get more time with him. He is still very physically active and runs and popcorns throughout the cage. He's always very happy and excited to see any one of the students and me. I am thankful that he's not shown much of his age, so he doesn't have any arthritis or anything like that. He's just gotten a little bit more frail as he's gotten older. So we're really hoping and praying that he sticks around for at least another year or so. So anyway, on with our video. Hey guys, so today's video, I am going to be cleaning Carmel's cage again. It's cage cleaning time. He's got hay everywhere. So, um, and then while we're talking, um, or while I'm doing this, I'm just going to kind of give you guys an update about my surgery and some other stuff that's happened. So, um, we'll go ahead and get started. So, um, first thing is that I went and saw the doctor. It was last Tuesday. I'm sorry that... It's taken me forever to actually talk about it, but um, so there were some complications with my first surgery over a year and a half ago um, that caused me to continue to have problems. Um, I've not been able to jog, walk, or I mean, really do much of any exercise, any cardio in the past year and a half. So. Um, so I went for a second opinion with a different doctor and he realized that um, I'm going to need a second surgery. So it was just complete disaster in my knee. Um, I got to see pictures um, of the, I always forget how you say, say it, arthroscopic? I think that's it. I always want to say orthoscopic, but that's not correct. Arthroscopic and um, arthro. I don't know, whatever. Um, but their, what they had, which is a common practice, is sometimes they put an ACL graft, they, attack, they put a screw in. Um, it is a biodegradable screw, but um, sometimes those biodegradable screws don't actually degrade. And that was the case in this instance. So more, we're finding out more doctors are now going back to plastic screws. But, so what had happened was the screw was breaking down, but my body was not dissolving it or whatever, absorbing it. And there were just pieces of screw just everywhere. So what they had to do, because the screw had not necessarily done its job, we had to remove everything. So that's what this second surgery was. So I currently do not have an ACL at all. So what they're going to do now is um, I have to wait several months. So um, right now I, my first day of summer vacation was Tuesday. So, or maybe actually Wednesday. That was the first day I wasn't supposed to be back. But he determined that um, he wanted me to go on sedentary. Well, those of you who are teachers or those of you that have ever been taught, which would be all of you, you know a teacher just doesn't sit all day. I'm not an elementary teacher, but still a teacher has to be up and about all day. And there's no way the school could accommodate me. So he's like, ah, you're done. We'll just, you'll just be on crutches and straight legged brace another four weeks. So that's no fun. Um, and I have to just, it's, I'm one of those people that has to be doing something. Like if there are days that I love to just sit and watch TV all day, especially when I've had a long day at work, I like to just sit at home. And um, I've been sitting at home for the past, what is this now? 
three weeks and I'm about to be I'm about to go insane because um, I'm supposed to be resting a lot which for the past day that's literally all I've done I sat and watched um, what am I watching now uh, Parks and Recreation funny hilarious kind of like The Office I mean I'm watching um, the, it again and I'm just like I am I just feel so lazy I hate doing that but that's the doctor's orders um, so I've been trying to find projects I occasionally go down in the basement um, I'm finally able to go down some stairs for the past two and a half weeks literally yesterday was my first day I have been um, driving to the lower garage I've finally though gone down to uh, Bear with me guys on the story because I, it's hard for me to do two things at once. Um, and Carmel is dying to have his food. He wants his breakfast. But, um, so I finally got to go downstairs while I went down the steps with the crutch. And because it's just so annoying to have to drive, keep getting in the car. That's one thing I hate more than anything is getting in a car with this straight legged brace. Literally my leg has to stay straight. So it's near impossible to get in. I have to push the seat all the way back every single time. It's just annoying. So, um, what are you doing? It's too bad you can't see him. He's like just knocking stuff everywhere. I will, I'm done for this school year. I hate it because I really wanted to go back and see my kids, but that's not happening. Um, I do go check on the guinea pigs on the weekends. I was there Saturday and Sunday. They're doing great. The kids at school are doing great with them. But, so I don't see the doctor for another three weeks now because I'm so late at posting this. And um, that will just determine when I go back to work. You are so needy right now. Uh, so, but this means I'm only healing and I will be in this straight leg of brace for another five to six months. So that would mean about in October is when I'll be having my next surgery. And that will be to redo the entire surgery. So there's just a lot of complicated issues, um, but we're all good, we're on the right track. Um, I'm finally gonna be able to do something. It just kind of sucks that the past year and a half I've not been able to do anything. And I'm a soccer coach, specifically a goalkeeper coach, and I cannot do my job. Uh, so I've been having to use having to help with other coaches and stuff, but um, it's good to finally be on the right track. I didn't move this down far enough. Here, take it off, buddy. So that's it about here. Well, <laughs> Wednesday, this past Wednesday, day one of summer vacation, I got so bored that I uh, contacted McKamey Animal Center and was like, um, need any fosters? <laughs> and so I have already fostered before. I've fostered um, a dog uh, last uh, Thanksgiving around that time. And so um, I was wanting to try a kitten because this time of year is when the kittens get pretty bad. They have a constant flow of kittens at McKinney Animal Center. And so the lady was like, sure. So I got a little kitten and um, I'll have a video out of him later. It's just, I'm trying to get enough stuff for him, but he is the cutest thing ever. Um, <laughs> any of you out there had to bottle feed a kitten and they're so violent. I mean, he literally scratches me to death and tries to get the bottle and knocks it out of my hand. I mean, he's so violent. Um, the problem, the nasty part, is he's dealing with diarrhea, so I'm constantly washing blankets. It's just really annoying. But, um, and I wish you were seeing Carmel. He's so cute. There you go. You still can't see him, but he's popping in and out of the stuff. My head's probably gonna be cut off, sorta. So, that's what's been going on here. Not really much to tell. It's pretty boring life. Um, <laughs> I go to physical therapy twice a week and the physical therapist, I typically do not, I'm just, 
I don't, I'm not good at making conversation when it comes to like ask. I don't know what questions to ask people. So physical therapists are pretty good at that. But literally Thursday could not shut my mouth. I just was like diarrhea of the mouth. Just kept going and going and going. And I was like, <laughs> I just looked at my physical therapist and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm talking so much today. I said, it must be because you've been the only person I've seen since Saturday. <laughs> not seen hardly anybody in over almost a week. So um, that's the sucky part is I don't get to see people. Uh, my friends can visit on the weekend because everybody's super busy. It's the last two weeks of school. So um, it's just kind of crazy busy. But so here's what we got Carmel today. I went and picked out some fresh grass and he's got cucumber, carrots, green pepper, and a tomato. Um, just a reminder, those of you who are new to our channel, Carmel is on his own because of his, his age. He's a senior guinea pig and he gets picked on by his previous group. So it's just best that he stay separated and he's very happy. So um, that's, it doesn't bother me. So um, he seems to be doing pretty well. Doesn't bother him either. But uh, yeah. So, that's the exciting things happening now. Oh, I need to get him some hay. Not much going on. But, I know most of you, if you're not from the South, your school probably doesn't end till the end of June, like near the end of June. So, because my friends are from Maine and they, um, my friend is a counselor, and so she doesn't get out to the end of June, whereas I get out the end of May, which I'm already in summer mode. So, uh, I know I've said this a many times before, and I never do them. I don't know, I've just been in this slump lately that I don't ever, I just don't feel like filming videos. Like, I literally sat on the couch all day, and it's, I know I said breakfast. Carmel did have a previous meal this morning, but it's 7.27 at night. Um, he's having late breakfast. He did have some, uh, what did he have this morning? He had some lettuce and a few things, but um, this is his second meal. Um, but yeah, I've been literally on the couch all day and just putting off this video. I just have not been in the mood. But if you guys have any ideas for some videos, feel free to comment down below. Um, I do want to do a video to show you guys the kitten. Um, his name is Rocky. It's just, I don't have enough evidence, you know, not evidence, but film of him yet, video. So I want to get some more of that. Random news. Uh, last night, really, it was really great. Belle walks upstairs and literally pukes three different piles. And I was like, what in this world? I started looking into this stuff and it's animal. She had killed another rabbit and decided she would come upstairs and puke everything all over my white carpet. So, um, thank goodness, um, blood comes out of carpet <laughs> with the right stuff. But yeah, so this morning I had to go down, I noticed there was no bones or anything, so I had to go down in my yard and, um, throw over the rest of the bunny parts that were left over that she did not eat. So that's fun. Here another three to four weeks, Belle's probably gonna have um, some more worms. So um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. But the dogs need to check up because they have run out of their worm medication and I'm kind of freaking out because mosquitoes carry um, heartworms. So I think it's mosquitoes. Yeah, I think that's mosquito. I think that's what I read. And I'm not able to take dogs to the vet yet. So um, they're about, I meant to do it before my surgery and just could not make time for it on a Saturday because I was busy doing all this other crap. So that's in the works. Hopefully here in a couple weeks, I'll be able to take both, mass, both dogs to the vet. So um, fun stuff, but yeah. That's literally been the fun stuff that's happened around here. All the pigs are in good health. Dogs are in good health. Um, kittens been pretty good. So, um, anyway, I'll leave you guys at that. I know I've just rambled and I hope you've been able to follow my story, but, um, yeah. So 
Thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great uh, week this coming week and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.